Hey, Dave. All right, let us uh, get some holiday appetizers going here. Easy, delicious ones. Got the QR code up on the screen so you can scan it. Get the recipes for today and my past recipes as well. We've got three different appetizers for you today. And we start off with my Yaya's pimento log. My Yaya is my grandmother. And she used, this little Greek lady used to make this very all-American dish. It's a bar of cream cheese that you let get to room temperature. You mix it with a jar of olives that you've chopped up. I know it looks horrible right there, but it's all done. It's really just those ingredients that comprise the dip itself. Pour it off into a piece of uh, saran wrap, cellophane, because now you're gonna form it. You can, either, you can form it into a ball, or you can form it into a log once it's in the cellophane. Just kind of form it. I'm gonna do it a kind of a long log because that's easy to serve it that way. And once you have once you have it formed, put it in the freezer for an hour or put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so it gets kind of hard because what you're gonna do after that is once once it's hard, you know, cold, gonna put it in some chopped pecans and roll it around so the whole thing then is covered. It's a little bushy to do this right now, but you get the idea uh, to completely cover it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, completely done. The other thing we're gonna do today is uh, cranberry and brie. A lot of people put the, the whole block of brie cheese out and then put some uh, preserves or something around it. These are these great little phyllo cups. These are right in your grocer's frozen food case and you can use them for all kinds of things. Here I've taken a ball of brie cheese, cut it into little bits and put a little bit into each of the cups. Then I've taken some cranberry sauce, the top, the cup and the cheese with the cranberry sauce. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put more chopped pecans. Don't do it in the plastic, do this in a, a sheet pan because then it's gonna go into the oven 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Really just want to melt the cheese up a little bit and brown the uh, phyllo cups a little bit. So that's going to go into the oven. I'll show you the final product on that. This one really is my favorite. I love pecan pie. Uh, and this takes all the ingredients from a pecan pie and puts it in these little phyllo cups. I've already mixed some uh, dark corn syrup with some sugar. Into that, three cups of pecans and that's gonna get mixed in. So once this is all really, really mixed up together, all of the sugary goodness with the pecans, you can see it's getting to be like a, a little paste here. Three eggs also go into it. This is what's gonna hold it all together when we bake this. This might work better with the fork to mix it up. So that's gonna get mixed in. And then this is about a tablespoon of vanilla extract to give it a really nice little flavor. Get rid of the spatula. So then once you have all this mixed together, this is nothing more than filling up these little phyllo cups. And then you're gonna bake this. Works best with a little tablespoon. You just take a little bit and put a little bit in each cup. This also, once you get all your cups, this is again in a sheet pan, not the little plastic container I'm showing it to you now, but this is gonna go into the oven also, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. It doesn't take long. Now these are gonna melt a little bit because you got a lot of sugar in there, so don't overfill these, but you get the idea for all of this. And then, when you're all done, here is Yaya's pimento cheese log delicious with the Ritz crackers. That's how she always served it. These are the cranberry brie uh, phyllo cups. And take a look at these little mini pecan pie cups. So delicious. These are so easy to do for your holiday parties, for your holiday get togethers. Got the QR code up on the screen so you can get the recipes. Scan it to get this week's recipes, last week's recipes, all the old recipes. You can do it old school, wgntv.com slash deancooks, or we automatically send them out every week. If you text the word cooks 
to 97999. Enjoy your holiday parties, and we'll be right back.